Hi guys and welcome back to another cleaning marathon with two hours of cleaning motivation. I got this idea from Amanda from This Crazy Life so I'll make sure to leave her information linked in the description box below. Clean with me's are so helpful for getting cleaning motivation but sometimes you just want to clean right along with the video and not have to stop to restart new cleaning videos. So feel free to grab some coffee and your favorite cleaning products and let's get cleaning. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name's Katie Satilli. We're about to get our clean on like crazy right now. So if you need some cleaning motivation, click that thumbs up and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button with the bell notifications turned on. Okay, so now that I got this area, I'll show you. So now that I got the couch kind of all cleaned up and I put away all of the blankets and folded them and stuff, I'm going to head over here and clean off this shelf, I'll show you. If you've seen my Dollar Tree bathroom organization video, you know that this actually sits in my bathroom. There's like a whole little nook for it and it has a bunch of organized bins in it usually, but this week we had somebody here fixing our chimney. So I wanted to make sure that I wipe this down before I shove it back in the bathroom. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So my bathroom is completely destroyed. There's bins everywhere. The soap is whatever. It's just crazy. There's junk on the towel. So we're gonna clean it up real quick and give it like a quick wipe down, put all of the bins back and try to get it looking nice again. Can I make it with so When she's with me We're like superstars When those roll down radio on I think we could go far We don't need money We can skip that part All I want is her to be with me She's got a ticket to my heart
got the sun in my eyes It can get better than when she makes that smile Yeah, she's got that style that makes you think she's made out of gold She's turning up the volume on the radio Okay, so now that I finished cleaning up the bathroom, I feel so much better. Don't you feel good when your bathroom is totally sparkling clean? I do. Now I'm gonna head into our dining room table and I'm going to clear it off and start using my e-cloths to clean everything else. So it's gonna be my e-cloths in the dining room table and the kitchen and probably the sliding glass door. I'm gonna use the polishing ones. Now I'm going in with my dusting cloth from E-Cloth and it's just this yellow one with like a red rim around it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off all this stuff because it gets really dirty really quickly because it's right here by the sliding glass door. I keep thinking that Hudson is going to fall asleep and he's not. He, I thought he was napping, but then I think maybe he has, I don't know. I'm gonna go check his diaper and then I'll come back.
So the thing that I love about these e-cloths is I just like wiped up a ton of crumbs and it all just sticks to the cloth. That's the difference between these e-cloths and then regular microfiber cloths. So it's like a big difference. So it picks up the crumbs as opposed to like sliding them over or whatever. Okay, so now that the kitchen is pretty much all clean, I'm going to be going in with my e-cloth window cleaners. So this one, I love this color, look how pretty it is. It's like seafoam green. So I'm gonna get this one wet, wipe down the windows, and then I use this one and it's dry and it polishes the windows. So I realized my carpet needs a really good vacuum. So I'm gonna be vacuuming. I just plugged in my Shark Rocket vacuum and I'm gonna be vacuuming the whole living room, kitchen, this little dining room area. And then I'll probably take a break after that. But can you tell I'm like out of breath because I've been running up and down the stairs. It feels so good because all of the clutter and the toys and the clothes and the shoes and everything is like totally put away, which feels so good. Um, so I'm gonna be vacuuming. We do vacuum a ton here because we have pretty much all carpet. So we vacuum at least every other day. It is a necessity. Now, since Hudson is sleeping, I can't vacuum upstairs. And even actually, I probably shouldn't vacuum in the kitchen because that's right underneath his bed. So I think I'm just going to do down here where like the main crumbs are. And then maybe sometime when Sean's here, I can do like going up the stairs and then upstairs and all that stuff. That's the thing is like, sometimes I feel like I can't fully clean the house because Hudson's napping. So anyways, we do the best we can and then we'll get to the rest later. these vacuum lines on fleek. <laughs> I love that you guys are having a sense of humor with me and guess what? You're never gonna believe, but I am working with a designer, a graphic artist on making a shirt that says vacuum lines on fleek. So let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. Mm -hmm. 
about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Now that the house is all clean, I can take a break, sit down. I have about an hour until the kids get dropped off, so I'm going to upload my footage, possibly edit some stuff, and then eat. Yes. So don't forget to click on these videos for more cleaning motivation and to get to know me better. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey sweet friends, my name is Katie Satilli. if you've never been here before. Welcome back to another extreme clean with me. I'm so glad that you're visiting and hanging out with me while we clean together today. I'm gonna be cleaning my super messy house with you and doing a whole house clean with me, so I'll be showing you how I get a clean house through cleaning with my husband this afternoon. So give this video a big thumbs up if you're ready for some cleaning motivation and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. If you're new here, I would love for you to join this community. Click that bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you can be one of the first ones to watch when my video goes up. I am always in the comments for the first hour so I'd love to connect with you right when the video goes live. There's no denying what we want There's no denying what we want Playing games, no There's no denying what we want I'm gonna be using my e-cloth kitchen cloth right now and this one is awesome. It just picks up all of the dirt and crumbs and it goes straight into the rag and it stays in there. This is the one for the stove top and range. I'm gonna be having Sean use this to wipe down all of the crumbs and stuff from our stove top. And I have a link in the description box below if you guys are interested in trying out some of these e-cloths as well. Now I'm gonna go in with my Clorox Fragancia in the scent Lavender and Eucalyptus. It's just a multi-surface cleaning solution, but I'm gonna be using it on my floors, and so I'm just filling up my spin mop that is also linked in the description below, and I totally just smashed my face. <laughs> you can rewind if you want a good laugh, but I kind of slowed it down for you so you could see it even better. But I just poured some of that in there. Normally you guys know that I use my vinegar and lemon essential oils to mop, but this time I just grabbed this. I like to rotate different cleaning products just to kind of mix things up just for myself. I really enjoyed using this and the scent it gives my entire house.
gonna see me talking and smiling at the camera probably more than my typical YouTube cleaning video, but my husband was actually holding the camera for probably most of the time for this video, or I was holding the camera while he was cleaning. And so this day we actually just, I don't know, it was just on the weekend and we knew we needed to clean, but we kind of just felt like hanging out. So we decided just to do it together. And so we got to kind of chat and joke around and spend time together while we both cleaned, which I think is probably my favorite way to clean now. And I don't know if I can get him to do this every single time, but it would be awesome. I had one of you reach out to me and tell me this awesome story about your spin mop and that when you got it you decided to use it on your front door and on different areas on the walls and I just absolutely loved that because I do use it in my bathroom sometimes on my shower walls and the good thing about it is you can just pop those things in the washing machine so they're getting cleaned and sterilized and all that stuff so it's not like you're going to be going and cleaning from the bathroom floor and then wiping it all over your bathroom wall i just love the creativity of cleaning the front door with it and i'm going to do that next time i remember to do that with my spin mop i will definitely show you guys so shout out to my friend, my subscriber, who likes to clean very creatively with their spin mop. I just love that. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other fun ways that you like to clean with your spin mop.
So Sean and I are now just going to be folding and putting away laundry and anytime we get kind of backed up we try to either do it together or one of us will watch the kids and the other one will work on the clothes. I don't know, we just know it can take quite a long time if you get behind on it, especially for a family of five. But I wanted to invite you real quick to go follow me over on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram handle right here on the screen, it's just katie.satilli. And I would love for you to come find me over on Instagram so we could be friends there. And I post lots of fun pictures, Insta stories, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm there in the DMs if you ever want to chat. So make sure you come find me over on Instagram. I'd love to be friends over on that platform as well. Now that the sink is all scrubbed, I'm gonna have my husband help me put up some shelves that I actually got quite a while ago from Walmart and they look kind of like a distressed wood. And so he's gonna be putting those in. We didn't wanna use the drill because our son was sleeping right across the hall. So we just used a screwdriver and hung them up. I'm gonna be kind of decorating them and putting some um, face products and nail products and stuff on them. Thanks so much for hanging out with me while I clean. Let me know what you're cleaning down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another extreme cleaning video. Today's video is packed full of cleaning motivation, so don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you're excited about that. 
I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any fun content. Now let's get to cleaning. This pillow right here drives me crazy. I cannot get it to fluff up to be the same as the other pillows. This was actually a hand-me-down couch and so I don't know what happened to that cushion but it is just not working with me and I know that it bothers some people on here too. <laughs> so you're not alone. It bugs me too but I tried my best to push some of the stuffing into the corners so hopefully that will be a little bit better. Let me know in the comments below where you guys have the most clutter building up in your house. For me, it is any counter space, especially this counter right here for some reason. This is just where everybody throws their stuff and I have to figure out where to put it. It drives me nuts. Do you guys have that in your house? Let me know in the comments where your clutter spot is. I'd love to know. And I don't really break too easily, but I'm worth it. I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh, oh, oh so give me so give me your all i'll take it i'll take it to mars oh i'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break in your sweat you're falling into me touch me i swear you would do anything that i want so keep us awake till the dawn so i'm going in with my method wood for good spray right here and I really like that scent I think it's almond scented I'm not sure if any of you have ever smelled it or if you like this spray as well I get it from Grove Collaborative I always make sure and have my link down in the description box most of their products are non-toxic and so if you're into that kind of thing this would be an awesome cleaning company that I think you would enjoy so I'll make sure and have that linked below Stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break in Now this product that I'm using is definitely not toxic free. It is called Wayman's and it's one of my favorite things. I just get it from either like Target or Walmart and it is the best for stainless steel. I feel like I've used lots of different products on my stainless steel and this one is definitely the best by far. Just take a hand, you got a free pass, oh. Try to hide it, but you had me from the
in with my e-cloths. This is my new favorite way to clean my windows. I am truly in love with these e-cloths for the windows. Oh my gosh, they make my windows so streak free, so clear and I just, I can't even say highly enough how much I love these things. And that is saying a lot because I've always said here on my channel that Windex is my favorite cleaning product and I just love how it makes everything so sparkly and shiny. But I will say that I have been grabbing these e-cloths over Windex lately, which is just nutso. So now I'm just moving into the bathroom and I'm going to be tidying up from everything that I used to get ready that morning. And this is my favorite curling wand. It is just such a good one. I love to use wands. Let me know in the comments if you like to use wands or curling irons or straightening iron. I'd love to hear. So the great debate is always cleaning gloves or no cleaning gloves. I don't usually use them, but I think because I was using Lysol wipes, I decided to pop them out. But let me know down in the comments, are you a cleaning gloves kind of person or are you a bare hands kind of person?
So we all know how much I love my Shark Rocket vacuum, but I'm really excited because I am going to be getting a new vacuum to try out. It's from LG and it will be cordless. So I cannot wait to test it out and see how it does with our floors. And I just love the idea of cordless. I mean, I'm obsessed with my vacuum. The only thing is I just don't love the cord, but everything else is great besides that. I always leave some cool videos here at the end linked for you, so don't forget to check those out, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another extreme cleaning video. Today's video is packed full of cleaning motivation, so don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you're excited about it. I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of the fun content. Now let's get to cleaning. So I'm upstairs cleaning in my bedroom right now and I'm using my e-cloth rags. Sorry if the lighting is a little bit weird in this shot, but what I do with the window and mirror cloths is I get one of them wet, which is the actual window cleaning one. And then I squeeze it out and I wipe down the mirror or window with just a wet cloth. And then after that, I take the polishing cloth and I polish it dry and then that's how I have no streaks and all that kind of stuff. So I got some questions in the last video and I hadn't fully addressed how to use those e-cloths. So I'll make sure and have a link down in the description box if you want to get one. My mom is gonna get one and she was asking me all kinds of questions and I realized I did not explain this properly. So hopefully that helps clear up any confusion if you were wondering from my last video about the e-cloths. So I'm gonna be cleaning with my Dawn dish soap and vinegar mixture. And if you've seen my shower cleaning video, this is one of my favorite hacks to use and I will show more of it in a bit. So I just put this in the bottom of the shower. I let it sit for 20 minutes. I usually do it on the door as well, but not on the stone because the vinegar messes up the stone. So anyways, and then I'm just using my Lysol toilet cleaner from the Dollar Tree and I had finished that bottle and I just let both of those things sit and soak for a little bit. So I went into the kids room and I'm just cleaning up the little bit of toys that were kind of messed up and then I'm just gonna make their beds. So let me know in the comments if you guys are bow people or not. I love bows and I got this huge pack from Amazon, of course, because I always buy everything from Amazon. 
and I got a bunch for, I don't know, I think it's like $15 or something like that. And that's only half of them. The other half is downstairs in a bin. And so anyways, I was re-putting those up because they were kind of scattered all over the place. And now I'm just gonna be pushing a bunch of throw blankets underneath the bed and our pool bag. And now I'm heading back into where the shower was soaking and I'm just gonna grab the wand that I have from the Dollar Tree. If you haven't seen the DIY video, I'll make sure and have it linked in the description box below, but you should go check it out. It's, it's, a, it's a fun video. I like it a lot. It's super fast, super quick, and I don't know. I think you'd like it. So now that we're done upstairs, I'm gonna be heading downstairs and just cleaning up a bunch of stuff that was just kind of strewn about. This was actually my second day of cleaning. So I had been cleaning the first day and then ran out of time. So then started cleaning a second day and did the whole downstairs. So right now I'm just kind of fluffing up all the pillows, folding blankets, getting toys, out of the way, putting them upstairs and just getting everything kind of picked up. So now I'm gonna be using my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray in the scent Peony. I got this from Grove, which I'll have them linked in the description box below too. And I'm just wiping down the dining room table. I know somebody made fun of me in my last video for calling it a dining room table. I don't know what you call it either, a kitchen table, dining room table. I know it's very small, but we will be getting a bigger one soon because Hudson is gonna be needing to have a chair. And right now we don't have a chair, he just has his high chair. So that will be happening soon. So keep an eye out for that. So now I'm just gonna be sitting down here pulling out some of these toy bins and decluttering, throwing toys out that my kids do not play with or sometimes we have just little trinkets or things from parties or McDonald's play toys. I don't know, whatever it might be, I was getting rid of a bunch of little toys that they don't play with. So that's what that bag is right there.
now that I'm done picking up the kitchen and the counters and all the clutter and everything, I'm gonna be going in with my e-cloth that's for the kitchen and it has like a little scrubber right there on the corner and then the rest of it is just like the regular rag and it just picks up all the crumbs and everything that's on the counter and it does a really good job so I'll make sure and have this one linked below too and all I do is get it wet in the sink and then I just wring it out and I wipe everything down and it is phenomenal I love it you will see me in a minute using the ones for the stainless steel and I've got to be straight up with you guys because I'm not going to tell you something that I don't believe in but I don't really like the stainless steel ones that much. So for me, I don't know. Maybe I didn't use them right or maybe they, I don't know. Maybe something I did wrong, user error. I'm not sure, but I don't care for them. So I'm not gonna leave that link below, <laughs> but I do like the kitchen one and I really absolutely am in love with the windows one. Now that I'm done cleaning up the living room, kitchen, and dining room, I'm gonna head into our guest bathroom, which is downstairs. And I'm just gonna be cleaning up everything that I used that day to get myself ready and cleaning up little things here and there. I'm gonna use my Lysol cleaning wipes to wipe down the sink and all of that stuff. And then I'm gonna be using those same Lysol wipes to clean the toilet. We read blind Lately, my kids have been filling up this sink with water and that soap and it is driving me crazy. They're putting their boats and their toys in there and all kinds of stuff. And I have to try and remember that one day I'm gonna miss these little messes and I'm gonna miss the disaster that was my house. I just have to keep it all in perspective that a clean house is not the ultimate goal, but happy kids is definitely my ultimate goal. In the books that we read blind So don't forget to check out these videos that I have linked here for you. I hope that you really enjoy them. If you wanna get to know me better or see more cleaning motivation, I know you're gonna love these. And thank you so much for watching another video with me today. I'll see you in the next one.
Hey guys, welcome back to another complete disaster extreme cleaning video. Today's video is packed full of cleaning motivation, so don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you're excited. I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any fun content. Also, I'd love it if we were friends over on Instagram, so don't forget to follow me over there. It's just katie.satilli. I'll put the Instagram handle here on the screen, and let's get into the cleaning. I recently have gone back to my Suavitel fabric softener and I love this stuff. I forgot about how much I loved it. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried it. It makes my clothes smell so fresh. I was using the Gain one, which I really loved as well, but it's fun just to switch things up every once in a while. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite fabric softener is. Now that I have the kids' beds made, I'm going to grab my trash bags that I brought up here with me and do a little bit of decluttering. I love decluttering. I love getting rid of stuff that we don't use anymore. This, for instance, was something that we got for my daughter and it just didn't really work out. It was kind of one of those bed canopies and it just didn't work out with hanging on the ceiling. It just always got ripped off. So anyways, I figured let's just donate it, get rid of some of these things that don't fit, get rid of some things that my kids don't play with. And especially since they weren't up here with me, I felt like I could get some stuff decluttered. Now I'm just gonna head in with my LG cordless vacuum stick and I love this thing. It's my new favorite cleaning item that I have for sure. I usually use the Shark Rocket vacuum, which most of you know if you've been around for a while. 
and I still love it, but I'm not gonna lie, having something without a cord is just pretty much the best thing ever. I will be having a video come out pretty soon here that where I'm gonna be giving away 20 of these vacuums with LG. So don't forget to be subscribed with your notification bells turned on, and that way you can enter in the giveaway to get one of these cordless LG vacuums. There's no denying what we want There's no denying what we want Playing games, no There's no denying what we want There's no denying so this is the most random cleaning that I've done in such a long time and that is to wipe down my daughter's wall right by her bed. I know you really can't see the dirt that's on here but I don't know how this wall got so dirty but I don't know if I've cleaned it since moving into this place which has been a while now. So I figured I would kind of detail some of the area up here while I was up on the bed making it and stuff so I just thought I would take you guys along with me. Here's my room. It's definitely a complete disaster. I feel like I had so much stuff just piled up on the floor. So I was just going around pulling everything up onto the bed so that I could vacuum real quick. I needed to get my vacuuming out of the way because my son Hudson, who is almost 15 months old, was about to take a nap. And every time I run this vacuum or any vacuum, it wakes him up from his nap. And as you can see, I'm Marco Poloing. Let me know in the comments if you guys have Marco Polo. If you are a stay-at-home mom, I feel that Marco Polo is probably one of the most important things that you could have so that you can kind of be involved in community and have connection throughout the day. Let me know in the comments if you love to Marco Polo like I do. So this year, my daughter is going into first grade, which is just crazy. She's, I just can't believe how old she's getting. Anyways, these bags right here are full of her back to school clothes. We always go to H&M. They have such good deals and really cute, kind of unique clothing there. So I love going there for back to school for her. And we usually get quite a good amount of stuff for a decent price. So this year we went and spent, I think about a hundred dollars on just some essentials that she needs. The school that she goes to has a dress code. And so we have to make sure that she has certain types of clothes and enough of them so that she can get through her week. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have a little one going back to school and what grade they're gonna be in. Also, let me know what your favorite place is to shop for their back to school clothes.
So I just took apart my LG vacuum and kind of clipped it in without the stick and that way it cuts really short and you can just clean your stairs super easily. So I did that in this cleaning session and it was so nice to get my stairs vacuumed. I haven't done it for quite some time. And now we're just going to be heading downstairs and look at the complete disaster that my downstairs area is. Normally I have my kids clean up, but I kind of felt like I was just on a roll and just wanted to keep being in the zone of getting everything done. Um, my kids were watching TV behind me and my husband was coming over to help me just kind of kick everything over so that I could throw it in the bag. So my husband and I started the keto diet yesterday as I'm filming this and it has been interesting so far. It's definitely a steep learning curve. We're not quite sure what we're doing yet, but we've done a lot of meal prepping. I have recorded some of that meal prepping, so let me know in the comments if you want to see kind of like some vlog footage of us meal prepping our keto diet. So now I'm just gonna be moving into the kitchen and cleaning it up, getting everything wiped down. Like I love to get my counters wiped down. I'm sure you guys know that about me. I was just gonna be using my lime sea salt spray by Method that I get from Grove Collaborative, always linked in my description box below. One of my least favorite things to clean ever is my stove. I hate cleaning my stove. I wish that it was one of those flat tops where I could just wipe the whole thing down clean, but it's not. So I have to get into all like the tiny grooves and remove those stone range things and stone range, stove range. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what your most hated cleaning item is. It's probably the thing that's most neglected in your house, which is definitely my stove. this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you go mm -hmm. I don't wanna wake up 
As you can see, I was just working on some of the meal prep stuff and putting it away. I wanted to make sure everything was cleaned up in my fridge and this was stuff that I wanted to just move into the freezer. These are just keto peanut butter balls and I must say that they are delicious, probably too delicious. I could eat them all. I'll try to have that recipe linked in the description box below, but like I said, I will have a meal prep video coming out pretty soon, most likely. So yeah, make sure to let me know if you want to see that in the comments. I'm looking in your eyes. And I have some really cool videos linked here so that you can either get more motivation or get to know me better. And I'll see you in my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to another extreme cleaning video. And thank you to LG for sponsoring today's video. Today's video is packed full of cleaning motivation, so don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you're excited about it. I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any fun content. Now let's get cleaning. This is my new LG vacuum cleaner. It's the A907 Cord Zero Stick Vacuum and I am obsessed. You guys know how I love my vacuums and my vacuum lines on fleek and this one absolutely does give me those vacuum lines on fleek. I'm so excited to be partnering with LG to give away 20 vacuums. So make sure you check out my video description below for more info on how to enter. So this stick vacuum features a long battery life. It comes with two batteries that are 40 minutes each. And so the total that you can run with the vacuum is 80 minutes. It has portable storage. So it offers three ways to store the product without requiring to drill holes in the wall. There's also the one touch control. So you can turn the vacuum on and off with the touch of just a thumb. And the dust bin is the right size so that you can maneuver and it's lighter overall as far as weight goes. So it just makes it really easy to get even higher areas over your head. It has an adjustable pole length and that allows for more flexibility with accommodation to your height. It has washable cyclones and filters. So that makes it for easy maintenance to clean away anything that is dirty on the vacuum. And that just keeps the vacuum running at its best. And last it has power punch nozzles to help clean deep hidden dust. So ever since I got this in the mail, I have been vacuuming my house at least once a day and I am obsessed with this vacuum. I love having a cordless vacuum. I know I've been talking about wanting to get one for a long time here on my channel and it's so exciting to actually have it now and anytime I want to vacuum, I just whip that thing out. I don't have to plug it in. I don't have to carry the cord around and it's just so easy. It's also way quieter than my other vacuum cleaner was and so it's nice because my kids can be watching TV or they can be having a conversation or doing something and it's not such a loud noise while I'm vacuuming. So don't forget to head over to my description box and check out how to win one of the 20 vacuums that LG is going to be giving away.
my mother-in-law was coming into town from Oregon, I think the day after this, and I wanted to make sure that everything got really, really clean. My mother-in-law is amazing and does such a good job of cleaning her house every time we go there. I'm just like so in awe of how perfectly clean it is. So I wanted to make sure that I was on my A game before she came over. So I was definitely getting into some areas that I felt like I hadn't messed with for a long time. But you know when you're having company over and all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, how have I not addressed this whatever it is, fill in the blank. There's dust everywhere, there's things that need to be replaced, there's carpet pieces that need to be hammered in. <laughs> It's just funny the things you noticed before somebody comes over as opposed to I would never have noticed those things if someone wasn't coming over. So I'm just gonna be going in with my sponge and kind of cleaning up little spots that are here and there on the ottoman or the couch. Um, I think that some of these are toothpaste droppings and I don't know, I'm not exactly sure, but I wanted to make sure to get those cleaned up before Sean's mom came into town, especially because she's gonna be sleeping on the couch bummer because we don't have an extra space like a guest room for her to be sleeping but I wanted to make sure that I did the best I could with what I have so I wanted to make sure and detail clean this vacuum before she got here so I'm gonna go ahead and use the LG vacuum to get into all of the little nooks and crannies of this couch and it needed it let me tell you I didn't realize that I haven't taken those couch cushions off for quite some time and there were toys and crumbs in those cracks and crevices that I definitely needed to clean out. So here's all of the crumbs and toys and little things that have fallen down into our couch. Let me know in the comments below the last time that you did this, you took off all the couch cushions and vacuumed your couch. I would love to hear in the comments. So now that I finally finished the couch, I'm just heading into the kitchen and I'm gonna be cleaning up the countertops and putting things away. So now I'm gonna be cleaning with my Clorox Sentiva spray and it is in that 
tropical, I believe it's coconut scent, and I love that scent for summer. I know that fall is coming, and especially us YouTubers are trying to get ready for all of our fall and Christmas videos because you just cannot believe how fast it comes. All of a sudden, it's back to school, fall, Christmas, bam. How did that happen so fast? I mean, we're, I feel like we just started the year. Does anybody else feel that way? I feel that way. Let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you would like to see here on my channel for the fall and Christmas season. So now I'm heading in with the O Cedar Spin Mop and I'm gonna be using Pine Solve in the original scent. It's funny because I've never used this Pine Solve before until just recently, I just bought it and I really have been enjoying it. It smells really fresh and clean. Jessica from Jesse Christine always talks about Pine Solve so I've been meaning to get it for probably a couple years now. But I finally did and I really like it. And I'd love to hear if any of you guys use Pine Salt. Do you use the original or do you use the lemon scent? Now I'm going to be going upstairs and making my bed and starting to pick up and clean my room. This just really needed to be done. It wasn't like the worst disaster ever, but I definitely needed to pay some attention to my room.
So this is our pool bag. We kind of keep it stocked with all of our sunscreen and bathing suits and water bottles and stuff like that so that anytime we want to go to the pool or the beach, we just grab our bag and can put some towels in it and head out. Um, I was just curious if you guys go swimming a lot during the summer where you live. I know that everybody's in different parts of the country. I'd love to hear in the comments if you are going to the beach a lot or to the pool a lot and you have kids, do you take them with you? Or are you not really big on heading to the water during the summer? Do you prefer the air conditioned and staying inside? <laughs> I love this scent, the Lemon Sea Salt Spray by Method. It smells so good. I know I've talked about it so many times here on my channel, but I just love mentioning the products that I really like. I ordered this from Grove. I always have the link down in the description box, or you can get it probably from Target or yeah, probably Target or something like that. Maybe Amazon. Now I'm heading in with my Lysol wipes and I'm going to be cleaning my bathroom. I noticed when I went in here to clean the toilet that the blinds were really, really dusty. So I went ahead and spent some time and kind of wiped them all down with these Lysol wipes and it was pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. I actually only ended up showing you half of me cleaning it because I felt like it was gonna be a little too boring. So I did the right half of the blinds on camera and the left half of the blinds off camera. I just didn't think you'd wanna sit here and watch me do it the whole time. <laughs> Got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I 
sure to include some videos so that you can get to know me better or so you can get some more cleaning motivation here at the end so don't forget to check those out and I'd love it if you would consider hitting that red subscribe button and putting the bell notifications on that would be so awesome and I will see you in my next video Hey guys, welcome back to another extreme cleaning video with me. My name's Katie Satilli. If you're new here, I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday with lots of cleaning motivation and vlogs. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you stick around, hit the red subscribe button and hit the little bell notification. Today I'm just starting off in my bedroom and I'm going to be staying in my bedroom the entire cleaning process. So there was just so much to do in my room. I felt like I needed to dust and vacuum, pick up all the clutter, clean the bathroom, make the bed, do everything that needed to get done in this room. I had kind of neglected it for a while. I don't know if that happens with you guys, but sometimes the master bedroom gets neglected. So I am still folding all of my clothes in the KonMari method. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever tried this out. It's kind of like doing it as a file system instead of on top of each other. My husband still folds his clothes like the regular way that we always have. So you can see that I just kind of threw something in that bottom drawer. But in my drawer, everything is folded in the KonMari system. And I really like it because you can see everything at a glance. And I think that that's like a really cool thing because then you know everything that you have. It makes it easy to get rid of clothes if you feel like you're not wearing them. And it makes it easy to pick out what you want to wear because you can see everything just at a glance. I do have a KonMari video for you, actually a couple of them in a playlist. So I'll make sure and leave them in the description box below or here in the iCard so that you can check them out if you want to see me KonMari my bedroom or the kitchen. It is super fun and motivating, I would say, to watch somebody do anything KonMari. I love the show that they have on Netflix, Tidying Up. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I binge watched that thing and I was so inspired to KonMari my whole house. And so yeah, I that's where those videos came from, from watching that TV series. So I had cleaned the countertops with this Method Lavender Spray and then I went in with my Sentiva Clorox Spray and I feel like it's really good for when I need to disinfect something. 
So I try my best to use that stuff um, on sinks or toilets or anywhere that I think needs to be really deep cleaned. I try to do that as often as possible just so that I can make sure and stay on top of any kind of germs that happen to travel into our house. We actually have a sick kiddo right now. She has been sick the last couple days and has had to miss school, which is a huge bummer because it's only the second week of school, but I guess germs travel pretty quick from one kid to another once you get back into school season. So anyways, we have been doing that and I want to make sure to get my house super deep cleaned with the antibacterial spray because I just feel like if I can prevent the rest of the family from getting this flu, I would love to do that. I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one Why I should ever let you go. So I like to let all the stuff that I just put on the toilet sit and kind of just absorb into it so it can really disinfect any of the germs on it. And then while that thing was sitting and soaking, I wanted to come in here and just start folding laundry. We always have tons of laundry. I'm sure you do too. We try to stay on top of it by doing a load a day and it's difficult sometimes, especially with three kids and especially when they're all home all day long. Um, during the summer, I definitely found myself struggling a little bit more to get everything done. But now that the kids are back in school, I'm kind of getting a routine back down. So when I have free time, I can either fold a load of laundry and put it all away or if I do it in the evenings, I don't know, it just depends on the day, but I'm definitely seeing myself kind of getting back on top of laundry now that my kids are back in school. Let me know in the comments if you see a correlation between your laundry and your kids being in school, if you have kids in school. I'm looking in your eyes, wish you could see the things I see. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up. Don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without. clean the toilet I usually use either paper towels or toilet paper and I don't know just in my mind it helps me to know that everything that's from the toilet is going straight into the trash I don't like reusing like rags or and I don't like using one wipe that goes for the entire toilet I just feel like there's too many germs on there that I don't I don't know I, I'm just kind of like I have a certain way that I like to clean my toilets and I don't know if you guys are the same way but I went ahead and started washing my hands I don't always show this on camera but every time I clean the toilet I absolutely walk straight to the sink and wash my hands really good with soap and water and so yeah I just wanted to show that on film that I do wash my hands after cleaning the toilet. <laughs> often dust these pictures but I know that they absolutely need it and even this plant right here had some dust on it and I wanted to give everything a quick spray down just because I haven't I hadn't dusted the room in such a long time 
And it's funny because as I'm watching the footage back, I'm like, oh, I hate the look of clutter. And I feel like this is starting to look a little bit cluttered on top of this vanity, not vanity, I'm sorry, dresser. So I might remove some of those items just because with the mixture of the wall of wall art and then having pictures and things on top of the dresser, I feel like it's not, it might just be a little too much for me. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, so here's my question for you. Are you a fan person? I think I've asked this question maybe a while back on one of my cleaning videos, but do you like to sleep with the fan on or are you one that likes to sleep in just complete silence? I like sleeping with the fan on. The noise is really relaxing to me, but everybody's different, so I'd love to hear in the comments. Are you a fan person or not? So I'm not sure if you guys saw my cleaning video from this past Sunday, but in the cleaning video, it was sponsored by LG Vacuums. And this is actually the LG Vacuum that I'm using right here. And on my Instagram account, I am giving away with LG 20 of these cordless stick vacuums. So make sure you head over to my Instagram account. I'll put my handle right here. It's just Katie. Dot Satilli. I would love it if so many people got these from my channel. I'm super excited to be able to do this giveaway with LG. I feel like it's so exciting for me because I love the vacuum so much and I know that you guys would too and everybody loves a cordless vacuum. I mean I've heard I've seen so many comments from all of you guys and whoever else is posting in the Instagram post but I'm just so excited for you guys to be able to win some of these vacuums. They are phenomenal. So once I finished vacuuming out the bathroom, I just went ahead and put everything back that I had taken out, the mirror, the scale, all that kind of stuff. So let me know down in the comments what you are gonna be cleaning today, if you're cleaning with me or if you're cleaning after you watch this video. Also, I wanna make sure that I'm putting out content that you guys are excited about. So can you let me know in the comments what kind of cleaning videos you enjoy watching. So besides cleaning videos, I feel like I have a lot of ideas, but for cleaning videos, let me know if you want like after dark clean with me, if you want cleaning routines. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be cleaning my messy house with you and doing a whole house clean with me. I will be showing you how I get a clean house through cleaning in the morning, in the afternoon, and at nighttime. Sometimes it takes an all day cleaning routine to get the job all the way done. I'm also gonna be sharing one of the ways that I make cleaning fun. So don't click out of this video if you wanna see what that is. And give this video a thumbs up if you're ready for some cleaning motivation.
So we had been gone on a trip. We actually went to Nashville, Tennessee. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure that you saw my crazy adventure with Jessica from Jesse Christine. It used to be Keep Calm and Clean. We actually met for the first time ever. Finally, we have texted every week, almost every day for the last two and a half years since starting our YouTube channels. And we finally met in person because my husband and I went to Nashville, Tennessee. All that to say, I had so much stuff that I needed to get cleaned up and put away. Um, these were just some of my packing cubes that I used for the trip. And so I was just putting these all away and then I wanted to completely empty out all of my suitcases and put everything back in the garage and just get everything like done, done, done. So that's what I was doing here. As you guys know, I'm a mom of three and there is literally no time to sit down and focus on learning or self-development or self-help type of stuff unless I am intentional about making it happen. I spend so much time scrolling on social media, it makes me feel like I don't have enough time to read a book. So I found this new app called Blinkist and it just takes nonfiction books and condenses them down to just 15 minutes so you can either read them or listen to them super easily and get the main gist of the book. So I have been listening to Benjamin Spall's morning routine recently and have been loving it. And I've been using it when I'm putting my makeup on in the morning, which totally gets me motivated for the day or when I'm cleaning, which also helps me. Normally when I put on makeup, or when I clean, I'm either talking on Marco Polo or listening to a YouTube video or watching like a little Netflix show, but this is such an easy thing to swap out that is good for my brain and good for my soul to be learning and challenging myself in new ways. The first 100 people to go to my link are going to get unlimited access for one week to try it out. You'll also get 25% off if you want the full membership and the seven day trial is completely free so you can cancel at any time during that period and I'll make sure and have it all linked in the description box below and I just wanted to thank Blinkist for sponsoring today's video. Here's my daughter Fiona finishing up her McDonald's lunch. I know, McDonald's, right? But whatever, I'm just keeping it real. It was a Sunday and we had gone to church and the boys were napping, but Fiona was up with me and she was finishing up her lunch. So as you can see, our table has a lot of stains on it right now. So if you don't know, if, you, if you're new here, um, I got this table from a thrift store. It used to be kind of like a yellowish wood color. It's pretty old. Um, so we sanded it down and we painted it and we've actually painted it a couple of times now because the top part of it gets um, like the coating comes off so we have to kind of like keep it up every I don't know year or so so we we need to go in and sand down the top part and then repaint it and then um, what is it called not stain it but you put like that coating on it and I actually like having it like that I know it sounds kind of funny because it's just one more thing to do but if I had like a really nice table I would probably have to be on my kids more about coloring and you know if something leaks through on the paper but anyways um, so I obviously have moved on to cleaning the windows but I just wanted to share with you kind of why they're staining on the table and what we're gonna do about it I would love to hear in the comments below um, what kind of dining room table you have. I recently went to the Dollar Tree and got these new dusters and a bunch of different cleaning products, so that's what I'm going to be using a lot today.
So Fiona is five. She actually just graduated from kindergarten. So that was her little thing that they had at her graduation with the picture of her and her name and all that stuff. Um, does anybody out there have a kindergarten graduate this year who's going into first grade? I can't believe that I have a first grader. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. It's crazy to me at least. I'm like, I'm not old enough to have a first grader, but I am. <laughs> As you can see, I have the Whole30 book sitting right there. Today, as I'm doing this voiceover, I started the Whole30. It's my first day today. So far, so good. Um, let me know down in the comments if any of you have done the Whole30 and what your results were. So Fiona and I had watched a show about germs this day and so it kind of got me in the mood to go through and use these wipes that kill bacteria um, on a lot of the surfaces that we touch constantly. I don't do this often enough at all, especially considering I have young kids. So I wanted to make sure and go through and do that and I had also gotten these wipes from the Dollar Tree. So as I showed you guys in my last cleaning video, the cleaning marathon, which I'll make sure and have linked here in the iCards and in the description if you haven't seen it, but I am just gonna be making my shower cleaning DIY hack from the Dollar Tree. This thing is amazing. If you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure and have that one linked too as well. So I picked up a few things from the Dollar Tree as I mentioned, but I needed to get new shower cleaners and then um, the Dawn dish soap. I already had the vinegar at my house. So, um, and then I just put this in a cleaning bottle that I had from the Dollar Tree. So you just do one part vinegar, one part Dawn dish soap. I always use the blue one. I don't know if it makes a difference, but that's what I do. So as you can see, I was going in and I just sprayed it down cause I feel like the bottom of it was pretty dirty. And then I did my door and I just let it sit for 20 minutes. And in a second, right here, you're gonna see me say 20 minutes. And now I'm just gonna go in and start cleaning the toilet. So I do a DIY floor cleaner and it's actually something that I got from one of you guys. One of my subscribers mentioned this and it's just hot water, vinegar, and essential oils. I usually use the lemon essential oils, but that was downstairs and I didn't want to go all the way downstairs. So I just got my lime essential oils and it smelled so fantastic and fresh. I love citrus smells, especially when I'm cleaning. So that's what I used on my floor at this point and I, I really, really love using that mixture. So whoever you are out there, the subscriber who told me to use this, thank you because this is my go-to now. I don't even use 
my other floor cleaners that I have lately. I just use this little DIY fantastic mixture. So now that it's been 20 minutes, I'm just going in and seriously, the dirt just melts right off the floor. So if you need to get some serious cleaning done or if you've fallen behind on cleaning your showers, this is such a good and thorough an effective way to clean your shower. Um, I absolutely love it. Like I said, I'll link the video below so that you can kind of have like a step-by-step -step of how I do it. show you my favorite favorite fabric softener that I've been using lately it's gain and it is plant-based and it is the orange blossom vanilla scent and I'm telling you I mean I know everybody has their own types of scents that they like but this one smells so good if you need a new fabric softener I highly recommend using that one all right, so now I'm gonna show you a little bit of my vacuum. I think I told you in the past that my dad told me I need to show my subscribers this because I showed him the other day and he was just fascinated by this. So it is bagless, so it's super easy to empty. I just emptied it all out in the trash as you saw a second ago. So now I'm just gonna be showing you how I pop open the Shark Rocket and it's so easy, it's like ridiculous. 
Anyway, so I just used that little small end to get in all of these little buttonholes because crumbs or I don't even know, sand gets in these things and it does not come out. Even when I shake it out, it doesn't fully come out. So I try to go in here every once in a while and do that. I also use this in my kids' cup holder in their car seats in the car. I can use that in all kinds of different areas. So I love it. I'm obsessed with my vacuum. I always tell you guys this. The only thing that would make that vacuum better is if it didn't have a cord, which maybe one day I will get a cordless vacuum, but that day is not today. <laughs> Hashtag vacuum lines on fleek. So hit the red subscribe button if you're new here i would love for you to join this community click the bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you can be one of the first ones to watch when my videos go up i am always in the comments in that first hour so i'd love to connect with you and chat with you when the video first goes live don't forget to check out some of my favorite cleaning videos that i have I'll have them linked right here on the screen, or if you want to have an easy way to subscribe, just click the little circle that has my face on it. <laughs>